Hey guys, I was super humbled the other day because I was asked by the Australian consulate to cook at their next major event. But before I do, I have to have the menu tested. So I've headed out to Greenpoint to pick out some fresh fish. Then I'm gonna cook it up in the kitchen with Caroline and Milena from the consulate and make sure that they approve of the recipe itself. Hey, mate, I'm Dan. Peter, nice, nice to meet you. Peter, this, this is uh, exactly what I'm after, some yeah, fresh yeah. goodness right here. I'm a chef, and I've got an event coming up for the Australian consulate. I definitely was heading in the fish direction, hence why I'm here. So what do we, what do we have? Well, we've got a whole wonderful selection of wild and uh, farm-raised fish. Um, we have everything from uh, wild golden tilefish here from Massachusetts, fluke from Rhode Island, wild king salmon from Alaska, beautiful yellowfin tuna from uh, Newport News, Virginia. Awesome. Yeah, we're Pretty going much all map. A little bit, yeah. To be honest, when I first came to America, tilefish and, and monkfish to me are these massive, thick, I've never seen anything like them before and seeing them in this state versus on a plate it's you know there's so many opportunities is this your place yeah i'm one of the owners oh, fantastic yeah. there's obviously a lot going on here there's a, there's a restaurant back here it looks like and fish market so what, what would separate you from the bigger markets that you may see around manhattan and, and brooklyn we have our own wholesale company so uh we kind of cherry pick off the top for ourselves here at the market so when you come in here you're getting like the same thing that the best restaurants are buying you can buy and cook at home it just means we have more access to some quality goods. What to pick? This is always the hardest thing. I know. You can't go wrong, though. That's the good part. Yeah, it's, here. it's a no-lose situation, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm thinking the salmon, to be honest. That's, um, that Alaskan situation is really talking to me. How many pounds of that do you actually have? you like nine pounds. Great. So this is the situation. I only need a couple now, but if, if the dish gets approved, I've got to come back and pick up a whole lot more. The brief will be 100 eventually, but I've got to get a, a pass first. So I've got three people. Yeah, are you a chef by trade, Pete? Was... I'm like a recovering chef. A recovering chef. Like that was how I first got hooked on this industry was cooking. Sure. Um, but then uh, I like people. I really like making people happy and talking oh, to people. Man. I was gonna say you can wield a little blade around fish, which is not an easy feat. If I didn't have to do paperwork or like <laughs> hire board, anyone or payroll, payroll or anything. I would just be shucking oysters, selling wine, and cutting fish for people, helping people find the right fish to, oh, to make man. at home for dinner. Sounds like you made your like This is your home right here. Yeah, so it is. Mate, this is fantastic. So, you know, hopefully you'll see me in a couple of days. Yeah. It was approved, and I'll be ordering probably two of the big fish to, you know, debone and fillet myself. Sounds so, great. Uh, thank you very much. You're me, welcome. Mate. Great Appreciate to meet you. You too. You come back here a lot more often. Perfect. Cheers. Thanks, mate. When I get to work with an amazing cut of fresh fish like the one Peter just gave me, it makes my job that much more enjoyable. Now it's time to head back to the kitchen to meet with Caroline and Milena from the Australian Consulate to test my delicious, perfectly cooked salmon with two fruit slaw for their event. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Welcome, guys. How are you doing? Okay. Thanks for coming over. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Hi. I'm actually kind of nervous because I have to get, you know, I guess, approval from you guys, right? So I went to a fish market out in Greenpoint and I saw this amazing salmon, wild caught from Alaska, and I was thinking it'd be the perfect dish to really kind of uh, showcase, firstly, Australian way of life because we love salmon, seafood, all that kind of thing, but also having a nice little floral effect with a two fruit slaw. But I'm actually going to put you guys to work. So okay. even though it's my recipe, you guys can also be involved, so that if you don't like it, I have it out, all right? Perfect. I've got these beautiful beets, and we're gonna do something really simple, and who wants to slice up some beets? I think Caroline. Okay, oh, okay, okay. All right, cool. All right, so we're just gonna cut them up into nice little eights, yeah? So just like that, you can take this lovely little stem off. So I'm just gonna go just like that, nice and simple, all the way along. And what this is gonna do is get a really nice little edge of crustiness as we roast them, but also bring out that nice natural sweetness out of them as well. So we're making chips? We're making a roast, yeah. yeah. Not, they're more like, I guess, wedges. Do you want to do another one? Oh, okay. That was just such <laughs> a good job. <laughs> I know. I know, I just You're like, made a roast, yes, yeah. and that's done. <laughs> done. <laughs> you finished it. Is this, is this your work oh. ethic at the, at the consulate? Is this how it works? Absolutely oh, I'll do a little not, bit. No. And then, <laughs> yeah, sweet, you'll take care Delegation. of it. Okay, so um, Milena, behind you is some thyme in my amazing herb garden. You'll find it somewhere. Yeah, Did you find it? You oh, she's straight off the bat. Uh, just get a couple of sprigs in there for us. You've done an amazing job. Mm. 
Do you, do you slice up beets? I often? Of, often slice up often. beets. Often. <laughs> so they're going to go straight onto the roasting dish for me. <laughs> oh, they're getting involved. Please don't close up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Milena, give us a nice little olive oil drizzle. Do your worst. Uh, you get the good jobs, Milena. Nice. Salt and pepper. So you're going to get a little salt bay action in there, Carolyn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, just let it the end. Can we get one more of those in the pepper? Just do that again, a little... Wait. <laughs> and then I'm going to just get the thyme. I'm just going to simply over the top. And thyme goes really well with beets, particularly with this dish where we get a hard herb and then just go over the top. So this is just going to go in for 45 minutes or so. Yeah. Just get a nice little golden edge on that. OK, have you guys ever seen these before? Yes. Mm. What is it? Um, pomegranate. Nice. Do you know how to get the seeds out of it? You half it and then do you scoop like it? do something where you go boom 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 before ah. you. If I was to get just the seeds, you're right. So if you want to slice that in half for me, get you a wooden spoon. Look at that slice. That's nice. Oh, no, that's joking. good. <laughs> that, no, that's no, no, good. No, that was good. Did it come out? Yeah. There you go. And you Is actually that really had to do it. Yeah, Give exactly. Give it a bit more of a whack. <laughs> Yeah. I'll just stand back there. <laughs> okay, don't put the girl with the white pants to do this job. <laughs> no, you no, take over. <laughs> okay, this is how simple it is. So you simply just, you can do a couple ways. Even just holding it like that's probably just as easy. And just go all the way around. What I call is fla flavour encapsulation. Instead of using sugar or even honey for that matter, you can add just natural juices and that increases like that sweetness you can have naturally, yeah? And it's actually a really good way to release any tension you've had from work too. So just in case there's been some tension. Oh, we don't get any tension no, at work. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, actually, what is working in the concert like? Is it stressful? It's a lot of fun. We yeah. We do some really fun events. And Pretty some, interesting, meet some diverse people. What is something that, the, I guess, the overarching purpose? Like, what is the goal that you guys try to achieve every To year? basically promote Australia, Australian interests, and promote them to a global kind of US audience. Yeah, there's definitely a community here in Manhattan. As an Australian, to have that here in New York is one of the coolest things. And for you guys, your engagement with us is phenomenal. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, it's truly awesome. We've got that done. I love these guys. Next, we're going to get on to our lovely, do you know what these are? Mini mandarins. I mean, that's pretty good. I'll give that. <laughs> Are they kumquats? Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Why? <laughs> Do you know what kumquat is? No idea. Okay, so you know what? In terms of a flavour profile, yeah. you're not far off a mandarin. Mm. A little sweetness, a little sour at the end. Start to see a few extra flavours coming together. So into the same bowl, we're just going to slice up mm. a few of these. I'll take this you, one. You can take the kumquats. <laughs> How's your shredding good? Do you shred? Oh, yeah, I'd like to go shredding. You like, you yeah. like a good shredding? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Every slaw you have? A cabbage. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you are just Do on you point. always have a cabbage with a slaw? Generally speaking. I okay. can take off a portion of this. Oh, nice work. And if you could, <laughs> do, nice it, if you could do it just I, like yeah, that, I'd be great. I've never done that. Okay, I'm going to give that a go. How are you doing over here? Ah, oh, terrific. They are beautiful, aren't they? Aren't they just? I'm, I'm refraining from eating them because they're very tasty. Yeah? Yeah. What is going on, oh, Shredworms? No, this is what it is. <laughs> you just can, this is great. <laughs> Into this, we're going to add your lovely shredded cabbage. Okay. The rest of the kumquats. But then we also have, do you know what these are? Pine nuts? Uh, pumpkin seeds. Oh, you're oh. both pretty close because it starts with a P. Pumpkinicle. <laughs> What'd you say? Pumpkinicle. Yeah, girl, nice. Oh, Five good work, my love. Yes. I'm going to add all of them. I'm going to add a pinch of salt too. Roll out a lemon for yeah. me. Perfect. And just holding one hand over the top to catch all the seeds and let the juice flow in. Now olive oil drizzle again and add some pepper. I like the Milana's olive oil. Oh, that's a little wrist like, well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, wrist flick. Oh. oh that, that was, was like so cool. Did you see that? Into some mixing. Put that to the side. So, there's a way to create the perfect salmon, crispy skin, nice and luscious on the inside with the actual meat itself. Yeah, so this is absolutely beautiful. This is wild Alaskan salmon. Wow. I'm just going to slice this up into nice even portions though. So, you can just see, like, you can have a look at that. You yeah. can see beautiful colour all the way through. And you can always tell when you've got a really nice one by the way the texture is. Sometimes it'll tighten up towards the edges, yeah. and that means it's really not fresh. fresh. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
So <laughs> over here we've got our pan. I'm just going to have this on a medium high heat. Gonna add a little bit of oil. Just to add a little bit of extra crispiness, what you do is actually salt the skin because that removes a little bit of extra moisture on the surface. So just like that. And then I'm going to put it in away from me. So if any oil splashes, it splashes away. And you're looking for that sizzle. Nice. Love that. You can see here this golden egg. That's definitely what you're looking for. Let's flip them over. See this beautiful golden nature. Yum. Like that. Oh, that golden is so good. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Lovely. And then because the, the dry heat you're going to get in the oven, it's going to remove any more moisture. It's just going to consistently make that crispier. So straight into the oven. And meanwhile, we can check on our beets. These look phenomenal. Nice. You can see like a nice little golden edge, a little crispy. You can start to see how they've wilted up a little bit. That's always a good sign. You know it what? smells so good as yeah. well. Yeah, right? Mmm. Delicious. I'm going to have a really crispy one. Mm. Like to me, beets is something pretty notoriously Australian. You know, you think of our burgers, if you think of an Australian burger, mm. it's got beets on it, right? Yeah, they always have beets in Australian burgers. The Aussie burger. Whilst our salmon's cooking, our beets are cooling and our slaw's doing its thing, we're going to make a cashew cream spread. So just behind you are some cashews. I just soaked them for about four hours and that's going to allow them to really cream up. First go in our coconut milk. You're going to have a liquid base which is going to carry the blade around the rest of the ingredients. Just going to add a little bit of that in there. We've got this beautiful ghost cheese. It's going to go our cashews. And then blitz. Well, that's a little bit exciting. OK, check this out. All right, have a taste. Have a taste. Get in there. Mmm. That is so good. Oh, so good. Well, mm. I love cashews. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just one of those simple things you can do. OK, so I think the salmon will be done by now. Oh, yes. Look at that. Yum. Golden nature. Look, crispy edge. Yep. OK, the exciting time. For the event, it's going to be little smaller portions. Uh, that's a bit more controllable. First thing down is the cashew cheese. Some beautiful beets. Just nice and crispy, really trying to get that texture, but also still harness that nice softness as well. Lovely slaw. I'm gonna sit right on top, just here. See a nice little crispy edge. And I'm thinking maybe have half portions for the night, yeah. but you never know. Some lovely olive oil. And then finish that fresh parsley. And that's the dish, guys. So Looks it's got good. Yeah, it's got a few different elements to it. It's gonna be a little bit different on the night in the smaller portions, but it's got all the flavour components there, so. Uh, I guess it's um, now time to taste and see if it's approved, right? <laughs> Crunch time, Dan. <laughs> we'll tuck in. Alrighty. Mm. Love silence. <laughs> I love silence. It's suspense, mm -hmm. guys. You guys can just keep going. Don't say anything. I think that combination, it works so well together. It's so refreshing. Just Yeah. It's the perfect dish. Yeah, that zestiness of that salad just cuts through it, and then yeah. the creaminess of the cashew kind of cheese. Yeah. I just think it's super light and refreshing. I mean, they're just going to get the best first impression of Australia. It is approved? Yeah. It's approved. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a good night. We're looking forward to the event and tasting it again on the night. I'll see you guys on the night. Thank you. Thanks. Of course. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Having an opportunity to represent my country through food at the Australian Consulate is such an inspiration for me. Happy times. A night of tasty food, refreshing beverages and fantastic conversation is the perfect way to represent Australia. It is clear that everyone had a blast at Milena and Caroline's event and for me, there's nothing better than seeing everyone enjoy my food.